What's up guys? Alright, so today I got another uh, Warhammer 40k figure from McFarland Toys. This one is the Adeptus Cerritos uh, Battle Angel from the Order of the Bloody Rose. So basically, from what I can tell in the package, it looks like the exact same figure that we already got with the other Battle Angel. Uh, this one's just in different colors, essentially. They've got the same weapons, same everything. So we're not going to do too extensive of a review on this, but uh, you know, all in all, we got the package here. Everything looks good. Got the pictures on the side. Got there, there at the back. Uh, we've got the uh, UPC in case anybody's interested. So let's just go ahead and crack her open and uh, see what we've got inside. All right, so here we have her, and just like the last Battle Angel that we looked at, she's got all the same accessories here. So we've got our uh, little Warhammer stand there, and then of course we've got our chainsaw sword, identical paint, everything. Uh, and we've got our little uh, our little carbine gun here. Okay, so we've got those two again, identical to the other one. Uh, and just to kind of show you guys what we've got here, this is the other one that we've got, and everything is exactly the same. All, everything except for the paint, every detail, every shoulder emblem, everything on this is 100% identical to this one right here. So if you want to see if like a full breakdown on articulation and that kind of stuff. Go check that video out because I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to keep this one pretty quick. But just as far as just going over it, and again, same sculpt, I know, but a really, really nicely done sculpt. I love the belt here. Uh, I love the texturing on the material here, which is obviously just plastic, but just this kind of skirt piece that hangs down. It's nice and flexible. Looks good. Well done. We got emblems there. We got emblems on the shoulder, emblems there. This thing is beautifully painted as far as just having really crisp, clean, uh, you know lines and just just in general just good paint apps across the board now again just like with the other one it's not very uh, uh, you know complicated as far as the paint goes it's mostly red with just a little bit of white and some silver and gold on there but still all in all done really really well but again you know they're both identical there's there's no differences here outside of the colors so that's what we're dealing with here with this one, but this one has, just like the other one, great articulation, great sculpt, great paint. Um, and in general, as I've said many, many, many times before, this Warhammer line has really impressed me. And uh, this is just yet another figure in that impressive lineup. So, we'll go ahead and do some comparisons here real quick, and then we will uh, we'll see what we think. Alright, so obvious comparisons. First, on the left, we've also got from the Warhammer 40k line, we've got the Reaver Ultramarine. And on the right, of course, as we've already seen... We've got the other Battle Angel, the more standard version of the Battle Angel. And uh, again, great line. Love it. And this is just yet another one in that line that looks amazing. And for a couple more from the same line, on the left, we've got one of the Dark Angels. And on the right, we've got our Chaos Space Marine. So for a couple of other female characters from McFarlane's DC Multiverse, on the left, we've got Batgirl. And on the right, we've got Superwoman. Okay, so for some six-inch scale Hasbro Marvel Legends women, on the right side we've got a little uh, kit-bashed Sharon Carter that I've got, and on the left we've got what I affectionately like to call eh, slutty Sue Storm. And once again, just for shiggles, we have dueling Captain Americas on the left. We've got Figma Captain America from the first Avengers movie, and on the right we've got SH Figuarts Endgame Captain America. All right, so let's talk about price here real quick. This thing's 20 bucks. I mean, pretty much everywhere you go, you're gonna pay 20 bucks for this thing. $19.99, that is what all the McFarlane figures are going for, including this Warhammer 40K line. It's a great price, it's a great figure. Now, that being said, this one being completely reused, just with different paint apps, is it one you need to have? Well, I don't know, that's up to you. Do you really need two identical battle angels just in different colors? I mean, maybe you do. And if you do, cool. If you don't, pick the one you like the most. I don't know. Look, it's a great line, they've got great details, great paint, and it's for a great price. Look, it, it's kind of almost a shame if you're going to go ahead and get the other figures to not at least have both versions of the battle angel. Again, it's a great line, and for 20 bucks, and in fact, in some places, you might even be able to find this on clearance. You might get it cheaper than that. It really kind of is a no-brainer. I would think if you are going to collect the entire line, you might as well get both Battle Angels, even though they are kind of identical. 
But if for whatever reason you just want to save a little bit of money or you don't like one over the other because of the color scheme, fine, go ahead. You don't need to have both of them. But if you do, it certainly will round out your Warhammer collection and I think you will be pleasantly surprised.